Hi everyone! Welcome to Science Learning. Today, I am going to show you the different available uh, applications of app sheets. So actually, there are a sample that you can actually try. So today, we're going to review one of their sample that is the attendance uh, system which mostly these are uh, somewhat um, um, be able to provide some uh, a little bit about confusing in my uploaded video uh, previously uploaded video so what I'm trying to say you can just check here and learn on the provided um, sample application so all you need to do is to uh, go to uh, your spreadsheets then try to click extensions then select app sheets and be able to view the sample apps so if you're going to request we're going to review it one by one so there are many applications here or systems inventory kanban board project tracker field delivery order delivery task manager marketing projects occupancy tracker facility assets client expenses and this is where we're going to review today uh, this is what we're going to review rather um, many applications if you would like to if you want to request for the app that we're going to review so yeah you can request in the comment section so many applications there if you yeah, if you want my help just to um, review so today we're going to take a look what is this class attendance and how they build the attendance so the only problem here it is not yet connected in the spreadsheet but we could able to uh, convert that if you are if you want no so just request that is all i can say so this is the application that you can find as you can see um, there are two tabs available so uh, it provides uh, courses here that illustrates the menu or the card view of the or the menu of your courses but you can also add uh, other courses like for example mathematics okay um, this can also use for employee if you want um, all you need to do is to enter here what type of company you are you know, representing the courses. So a little bit about description. So this is, uh, let's say for example, the schedule is from uh, 7.30 a.m. to 10 a.m. For, let us say, college student college students and an image you can actually use other image you can upload so the, the, that represents here the image so you can just edit if you want okay add more items for a while um, how we're going to edit the certain course okay there you go so better if we could um, yeah add some image let me search uh, mathematics mathematics and let's download this in my, let's say for uh, let's say we're going to use this one and just save us the image and my alright and save then we're going to download that image and that's how we're going to use this uh, application all right so that's it no that's it 
on how you're going to use and here it comes now we have the image already so we can just uh, refresh if you want <coughs> and be able to show it on the website so here it comes now if you are going to uh, use this for attendance so you can click add and be able to add some students so let's say okay chan what okay and you can just show some image say for instance we're going to use this one uh, robot all right and here we're going to add here email so let's say for example uh, email at email at gmail at and tag for uh, students for mathematics and that's it you have added the certain attendance already so now if you're going to click on that certain uh, students you can just yeah view here the certain um, view for how you're going to check so let's say I'm going to check this student and here comes now I have the logs for uh, yeah the email the date and also the time that students uh, just entered so I need the email no, as the basis for the checking so let's try their available available uh, yeah the ready-made one so let's say we're going to check for Peter check and there you go we have the yeah the day to day and still we have the record for that students and time entered so that is 7 18 here in the philippines all right so if we're going to review so that's it no i am showing with you and just request if you want me to review other uh, available templates here and you can just uh, click copy and customize if you are going to copy and be able to customize and open it in the uh, appsheet.com <clears throat> so let us just wait for, uh, for a while okay it will show in the appsheet later okay I have a problem in terms of uploading <laughs> I don't have um, right now I don't have yeah a certain amount in order to okay, purchase but I am planning to purchase so that I can create more applications okay so here I am going to skip this part okay because uh, we're going to customize or something we're not going to customize we're trying to review how they code the uh, how they how does the certain attendance uh, works okay provided uh, the template of the app sheets so here as you can see in the data tab there is uh, attendance log so that attendance log is the basis for this one as I try earlier this one so the email the date and the time so we're going to check that for a while the email date and the time and the reference are not being shown here because it is just a reference for what the course this certain students was enrolled as well as the emails not being shown here instead it may reference to the um yeah it it's just refers to okay to the certain name all right so that's how we review that so for the id they provided um yeah key and unique id this is uh, the request of 
my subscribers you can just click today if that is for a daily attendance if uh, time you can just include time now okay for time in and time out all right so that's the table for uh, attendance attendance log another is the course now how they created this course view so this one so from here they uh, they included it includes rather it includes a nine number as well but not is being shown here this one is just a text and it's a required one it shows and a required require all right that is why there is an asterisk here and also there is a description which i tried earlier uh, that description part and also image for this uh just to capture the certain icon for that course and some other connections okay for a list okay to connect with your attendance logs all right and what the course so that's this is the formula uh, they use and also for the students another list just to connect the reference from the row of the students in the course okay so that's for the course another is the part of the students so say for instance we have here tony so tony okay and if we try to edit so we have here the options but if we're going to add students if we're going to add students for the certain course so we can just click add so in this part of adding there is an option here a row number as well which is a unique one and description is the number of row yeah a number a certain basis in order for us to add more students and the name that represents the first name last name that is being shown here and this area required and headshots for yeah uh, shoulder or chest view of the face of the students and email which is uh, here is the key for checking and also the course which is being uh, in order to have a reference as you can see here this is uh, provided in the reference all right reference uh, reference and if you try to click on reference for instance we're going to uh, we're going to add virtual columns for example this one um, let us say that is course course two how they build that one um, new virtual column all right course all right, all right. Um, for the course part concatenate let's try this one for a while if we're going to select for reference there you go this is what I'm trying to tell you because this was already uh, ready made if we're going to refer this can refer to whatever uh, certain table you would like to refer so in this case uh, let's bring back this into name again in this case it was refers to course so that's it and also for yeah a computed name uh, just a name but certainly that's a label and this can actually concatenate first name and last name.
that's it and until the it, it is searchable as well for the attendance um, it is being list and uh, list from the logs and the email so that is the part of yeah logs okay so that's how a uh, quick review about this and yeah just to show you all right this one so these are what is being shown for the certain lands okay of the students okay so so far that's how we review the certain applications and this view can be changed from here so just proceed to UI and click uh, there are so many forms they design so there is a, a course detail course form student detail student form and student in line all right so this is the for the student in line and also student details student form course form and the attendance log form okay so so far that's that's the that's the review that I can show you and all I can say there are um, yeah different options or uses of these objects already okay so I will also find a way to uh, demonstrate with you or create a video how we're going to maximize the predict model here okay so i think that's all for today do not forget to subscribe and thank you for watching